I don't even know if I got any words that I could that I could that could describe or aptly describe how I feel right now. You know, I've always been concerned about the level of cricket in Barbados these days, especially when you look at our proud history for many, many years. We've produced world-class cricketers and uh, to finally get this one under our belt is really important, uh, especially at a time like this when, you know, there's a, a lot of concerns about a lot of different things happening in the country. This is a bit of good news, but it is also uh, a testimony of what I keep saying all the time, determination. And if you put in the work, you will get out the results. And what makes me even more proud is that the franchise is, is, is basically sponsored by Barbadian companies this time around. Um, and that makes it all more special because it, it shows you what we can do when we work together, private sector, um, communities, whatever. And so I'm hoping that this is just the start of, of, of something uh, monumental going forward in the future. And I know a lot of the youngsters who play cricket from the primary school level, these are the type of things that inspire them to want to play when their time comes for a franchise like the Tridents. How important was it for Barbados to win for you? Uh, very, very, very important. Uh, you see, each time you, you get close and you lose, there's a psychological rebuilding that you have to do all the time. I know about it because I've had to do it in, in my own career uh, when, when, you're in a, when you're a competitor. Uh, that sometimes in itself can take a drain on a person or persons, you know. And so once you get over the hump, winning then becomes a habit and it becomes part and parcel of, of that fuel that drives you to move on to even bigger things.